All right, it's time to start with our weekly session of Old School Throwback Street Fighter Fun. It's already been requested I start with DJ tonight, so we'll actually do that. Even though I kind of feel like it's unfair, he's one of my tournament level characters, but... All right, we got the Rogster. What? Two of my moves dropped. Two different moves dropped and didn't come out, and he gets counter hits and fucking dizzies me. Garbage gameplay. Right from the get-go, garbage gameplay. I couldn't do anything. Yeah, this is I can't play him. It's look at this. It dropped it again. What? It dropped it again! Fuck this. What a waste of time. I wait, I waited like 10 minutes to play in this lobby to play a fucking laggy piece of shit match. It dropped, it literally dropped half my inputs. The guy just did absolutely nothing of any impressive nature and just gets away with all the fucking moves. I can't do anything. <laughs> I literally couldn't do anything to what he was doing. It, my moves weren't coming out. Great game. <sighs> What's funny is the room split. Did you see that? Half the room went to one room and half the room went to the other. Apparently, no one wants to play that guy. Amazing garbage. Big Baba Phil is here and tipped $5. Says, was there a time period you became the best Street Fighter player at your local arcade and did other arcade goers know you for your skill and reputation? Yes. Yes. For I, I would argue for a few years, I was the best player at my local arcade. And there was really no competition. And, and mostly old school Street Fighter. That's all that was really competitive for a while at my arcades. It, it actually started off with... Um, it was like Street Fighter 2, and then it was like Street Fighter Alpha, but then Mortal Kombat exploded, and Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, and all that became very popular, and I wasn't, I played those, but I wasn't competitive at those, I liked them, but I wasn't, like, trying to be serious tournament level or whatever. It wasn't really until the Versus series, I would argue, like X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, that, those games is when, in Connecticut, where I was growing up, that it became very competitive, and people wanted to play in tournaments against each other, and actually compete in a competitive nature. So, uh, I gotta sneeze badly. It's really annoying me. It's like right here up in the top of my nose. I feel like I gotta sneeze. So hold on, let me grab a tissue and blow my nose before I sneeze all over the place. Oh, great, I got one tissue left in here. Great. Ugh. Oh, okay. So anyway, yeah, it wasn't until I would argue the Versus series were in Connecticut where I was growing up that things got competitive. I'm definitely not saying that there that Street Fighter wasn't competitive. Of course it was. Just not where I grew up. People weren't really serious about competitive level play until the Versus series. And then people got really into, like, hardcore competition with games like Marvel vs. Capcom 1. So. <clears throat> okay. Oh, you saw that, right? You saw how it dropped my frame? This is ridiculous again. It's doing the same thing, dude. It's doing the same thing. Everything I do is massively delayed. He's just walking forward and mashing buttons. and I can't do anything about it because all my moves get delayed. All my moves get dropped or delayed. Look at that. It's skipping frames. Right. It's skipping tons of frames. It's skipping tons and tons of frames and dropping tons of input. It's fucking garbage. I didn't do anything. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that shit. Unreal. So annoying, man. Okay. Oh, uh, Goji Tanks. Do I, I guess I'll play one against him 
We know it's going to be terrible. We know that, so... <laughs> I'll play a match against him, and I'll fucking... If it's a Oh, my God. Look at this. Yes, I love it on the character select screen when the whole screen freezes. That's my favorite. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that Zangief stage, here's the problem with that Zangief stage in this collection. It runs too fast. It, if you watch that stage, watch how all the characters move compared to... Oh my god, look at the fucking lag against Goji tanks, man. Anyway, the stage runs at like double speed of how fast it's supposed to run. That was fucking fireball. I didn't get it. So not, not only are you dealing with dropped inputs and shit, then you gotta try to deal with the fact that the game's running so fast your moves don't come out. That was fucking up kicks, didn't come out. Here's my kick. I can't block. I love this shit. I love it. I, I'm not doing anything. I can't block the fucking sweep. But yeah, every time you play on Zangief stage, it's like not only are you playing against dropped inputs, now you're playing against the stage running too fast too. So anyone who plays hyper aggressive gets the advantage. If you're trying to like play normally, like you should, and play a good a good uh, reactions game, footsies, you can't. You can't even react to the shit going on because the game runs at the wrong speed. Here we go again. Why? Okay. Good evening, guys. What? I couldn't do anything. What? Again, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't block the sonic boom. Didn't do anything there. Whoa, dropped my input. Couldn't do the fucking max out. Dropping my moves. Take this. Goodbye. It's dropping move after dropping move is so annoying. You can't maintain any kind of steady, uh, any kind at all of steady offense because the fucking game just drops your inputs. Good evening, Derek. No, I did not have a favorite King of the Ring winner over the years. I don't even remember the King of the Ring winners. So, <laughs> no. Oh, uh, you picked Ken? Blanca. Only Fear of Death Capcom didn't have the Geef stage run faster. It's emulation is the problem. In the arcade version of Super Turbo, Geef stage doesn't run faster. This isn't the arcade version. This is fucking emulation. This is not actually... They didn't actually take the ROMs of this game and reprogram the game to work, right? They just... Basically, this is a ROM suite, meaning, like, you know how you like Kylera and shit on a PC to emulate games? That's exactly what this is. There's an emulator running behind the scenes in this collection, running these games and running them all at the wrong speed. So that's why the stage runs at the wrong speed. If it was actually effort put into this collection, it would run at the correct speed. But they don't have, uh, they didn't put any effort into this collection at all. <laughs> no, you can't get used to it, Cholo. How, tell me something. How do you get used to it? When you're playing the game and every stage runs at the correct speed and one stage only runs at double speed, how the fuck do you get used to that? Like, what a dumb question. How did you not get used to it? Because I'm not sitting here playing on the double speed stage constantly. I'm playing on every stage where the game runs like normal and then one stage is double speed. No, I, I'm not used to playing a game at double fucking speed. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Gee. Well, he picked Alex. And already, like, you can hear the lag. You can see the frames dropping already. I'm not even fighting that. Prepare to strike now.
didn't do that. I can't block. Yeah, I can't do anything. Against Goji tanks, you can't block, you can't parry, you can't do anything because his connection is so bad, it drops half of your shit. I parry. That was bullshit. My low medium kick didn't come out. I did low medium kick. It didn't come out again. It dropped it. It gave me the fireball instead. I did that after. Can't block. No, wow, no flip. I can't get a flip. That was sure you can. Can't get it. Can't block. I tried to parry. Couldn't parry. <laughs> All the basic things I need to do to beat Goji tanks, I can't. The moves just drop. Half the moves don't come out. So I can't do anything about his moves. He has all safe moves I can't do anything about because of the fucking lag. No super. <laughs> no super again. That's twice. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Okay. Well, I beat him even in the lag. Pretty pathetic. Oh my god, it's even worse. <laughs> it's getting worse. The connections are getting worse. Alright, I think I gotta get out of this room soon. Oh my god. I'm gonna pick Chun Li. Listen to the connection. It can't even play the music. It can't even play the music. No, I don't play Smash Bros. Nope. I played it when it was new and that was it. Right in the middle of a combo, huh? Very ent entertaining there. What the fuck? I'm not even near her. What? <laughs> it completely dropped the input twice! You could hear me do it. Oh my god! What the fuck? Dude, every time he does that, I'm doing a move, it drops the input every time, so he gets a free walk forward throw. I can't counter it. That was super. Jesus Christ. It's dropping so many inputs. Absolutely ridiculous amount of dropped inputs tonight. Holy fuck. Can I play as Karen in Alpha 3? I could try, but I suck with her. Ugh. Hmm. Of course, Guile. Why not? <laughs> I want absolutely no challenge at all. I just want to jump back and forth and throw Sonic Booms because he's insanely overpowered character. 
Oh my god. Alright, fuck this. There's nothing I can do to any of this right now. Haha, <laughs> for the flash kick. Nothing I can do. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. He literally is just down backing and press button, button, sonic, boom. Button, button, sonic, boom. You don't have to do anything. There's no skill involved in it at all. It's the most fucking trash gameplay. 179-107-199999 did a $9 super chat. And he said that I prevailed over Goji Tanks in that lag. So there you go. Thank you for the super chat. 107 199999 I know that's not really your full name, but I'm not going to really put out your real name. It's too long. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Again, guys, if you want to help tonight, please tip me. I need tips tonight. I need to pay bills over the weekend. I appreciate those who contribute in any way, but please, if you could tip me, do that rather than these super chats and, and memberships. I need that way more, okay? Thank you. Oh, Panda with no toes. That's a unique name. There you go. Okay. Play more Chun Li. <clears throat> DJ, huh? I do the head stomp. <clears throat> okay. Right. Right! Literally not a combo, just mashes random buttons and somehow interrupts every hit I'm doing. Right. Super. Wow, it dropped the super. It dropped it again. Finally came out. Jesus Christ. Three times I did walk forward super. It dropped the input and didn't do it. <laughs> Derek, yes, I am happy to be playing more uh, Lost Judgment tomorrow, obviously. I really like the game. I want to play as much of it as I can, but this is the problem with the busy hardcore gaming season is when there's this many games coming out that I'm juggling, I can't play one game more than just like a couple times a week. And especially an RPG that's drawn out like that, that's a t it was really a terrible time for it to come out. It should have come out just like regular Judgment two years ago. It should have come out during the summer. It would have given everyone a lot more time to focus on it, but instead it came out a really bad time in my opinion. So I'll be playing it for months, you know. What's up, John, man? Good to see you. Okay. Okay, again. What the fuck? It dropped my input again. <laughs> Dude, it's like impossible to play tonight. The game is dropping my input at least 50% of the time I'm pressing a fucking button now. I was already on the ground. didn't get hit once and got a throw. Jesus fucking Christ. We're, oh, dude, why can't I throw him? I, they won't let me. They're dropping every throw input I attempt. Wow, 
What the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ, man. That guy, and then he rage quit. That guy literally just jumped and threw. He didn't do anything else. Jump around, slam. Jump around, slam, and lag. <laughs> wow. That was, he didn't even understand fundamentals. Oh my God. Holy crap. All right. Uh, I don't know. Someone asked for Karen. I'll pick her, but I'm stuck with her. I'm not good with Karen at all. Oh, I'm done. I have no idea how to fight Honda with Karen. I have no fucking clue this is done. Easy, easy loss. Wrong button. God, I don't know what's going on. I don't know this at all. Oh my God, what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah. It's so bad, look at the lag. Are you out of your fucking mind? Dude, I, I can't consistently move my character. Look, how am I supposed to play this match right now? How did I even get this fucking bad? It wasn't this bad like 10 seconds ago. Was super oh my god I can't get a super to come out Wow a wrong move This is so bad dude You're so fucking bad man oh Salad pizza muscle did a super a two dollar super chest I'll tip three hundred dollars to get fifteen straight wins right now I have two uh, I'm not playing against Goji Tanks. I'll have to leave the room. I'll, we can keep count, but there's no way I'm playing Goji Tanks with with odds like that. Because there's no way I can consistently win against him with his connection so fucking bad. That's not even, like, a, a fair match. So, I'll, I'll take that challenge. I'll definitely take that challenge, but not against laggy motherfuckers like him. So, if we're being serious, I'll just pick top tiers the whole fucking time. Here. So, that's two. I'm on two right now. Okay. That was a good headbutt. Destroyed him. Okay. three <clears throat> and no fucking way I'm playing goji tanks if I'm trying to get a 15 win streak I'm not wasting time that's just it's not even a match in my mind it's not even a fucking match <clears throat> okay is this, is this the guile the runaway guile yeah all right fuck this whoa 
I pressed the button. It did. It dropped my input on the character select screen. It actually dropped my button death to pick the fucking character. That's terrible. Wow. What the fuck? What the- <laughs> Yo, I did a move. It did a completely different move. He walks forwards and throws. Fuck you, dude. Alright, enough of this. He's gonna do a random flash kick, huh? Oh, come on, random flash kick again. Why? Because it's safe when it's laggy. It's safe for him to do it. It's safe for him to do random flash kicks and lag. Nice headbutt. Wow, that's two dropped fucking headbutts. It's almost impossible with so much lag. That's four straight wins now. Four. Nope. Not playing this bitch. Not playing this laggy motherfucking bitch. Go fuck yourself. Let's see if I can stay in this lobby here. Nope. Okay. How am I liking Far Cry 6? I've only played it three hours. I thought that the introduction was good. I like the game mechanics. I think some of the little silly things, like a stupid pet gator, is kind of ridiculous. The rocket pack that kills everything in front of you is kind of ridiculous. Um, for what I've seen in the first three hours, I liked that. I thought the graphics were really good. But I don't. the problem with Far Cry is it's so long and it's so much of the same repetition that just because the first three hours were good doesn't mean the next 30 hours is going to be good. It could end up being very repetitious and boring. So, I guess we'll see. Wow, this just looks great right now. <laughs> wow, that was an amazing match, wasn't it? I might as well just quit the lobby now because it means the lobby's glitched. It ain't going to work. Good evening, Paradox. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, I think of the Battlefield 42 graphics, they were good except for the glitches. The detail was great. Like, the, the foliage and everything moving was really outstanding. And then the fucking lighting was terrible. It was atrociously bad. <laughs> Giant fucking, you know, glitches of lighting and shit. Alright, since I'm taking this seriously, I am definitely not being Karen and shit. I'm either gonna pick Rose or Gan or I'll just pick fucking Bison. Chun Lee, great, I'm probably gonna lose. This is so hard to win. No move. going on? I was not fighting. Look. I don't know what happened. Right in the middle of the match, he stopped doing stuff, which is very odd. Wow! I didn't do that. I didn't do that at all.
What the fuck? You kicked the wrong fucking way. Oh my god, level fucking three super. <laughs> he did random level three super. Hail Mary, it hits. Then he does random anti-air, it hits. From mid-screen. Not what I did. I just throw he has a fireball. What the fuck? Get me out of here. What the fuck? Oh my god, I won. Tripe to dollar sixty nine tip, he says, I always love the Street Fighter streams. Thank you, Chai. So that is, I believe that's six wins now, right? Is that six? I think that's six straight wins. Goji Tanks doesn't seem to get the picture that I'm trying to get a win streak and I'm not playing against his laggy ass fucking cheating connection. He just keeps joining and I'm not gonna ever play him. He's just wasting his fucking time. I'm literally not playing that motherfucker. That's five, okay. I thought it was six, it's five people are saying. Well, I'm not waiting for that either. <laughs> I'm not waiting all day. For an Alpha 3 match, that's going to take fucking 20 minutes to fucking end because Alpha 3 sucks. No, I wasn't even a wake up fucking Chun Li super he hit me with. That was just a random super. He wasn't even waking up. He literally just did, oh, I don't know what to do. I'll just do a random level 3 super and fucking hit me. <laughs> Stupid. What happens at 15 wins? Uh, Salad Pizza Muscle claims he's going to tip me $300. I don't believe it's going to happen, but it would be nice if it did. Little Crow Gaming just did a super chat. Says the chat wants to hear your best, of course, and vice of Street Fighter of the Street Fighter movie. Of course, <laughs> of course. I love that. Thank you, Little Crow. Little Crow Gaming. Derek, some of your oldest playthroughs from 2008 are Far Cry 2, Mercenaries 2, World of Flames, Call of Duty, World at War, Saints Row 2, and Little Big Planet. You still remember those games? Of course I did. I remember every one of them. I don't know if I did full playthroughs. For example, I don't think I did World at War. I don't think I did full playthrough. I think it's just multiplayer, right? Um, Far Cry 2, I did. I believe that was before I was doing full gameplay. I was doing some highlights, but not the full game. Mercenaries 2, I did definitely didn't do a full playthrough. It was basically only annoying parts. Saints Row 2, again, it was just highlights. It wasn't a full playthrough. I think Little Big Planet's campaign, I did do a full playthrough of, if I remember correctly. Puppet Master, I haven't played Minecraft in like two years. I don't know anything about the Minecraft update. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I need 10 more wins to get this 15 streak. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think it's going to happen. I think I'm going to lose eventually. I'm going to try as hard as I can and pick top tiers and shit, but I don't think I'm going to get 10 more wins. Then you're Johnny Retsu. He says, you're a good gamer, keep streaming, keep the good work. Guts says, how far will I get in Far Cry 6? What do you mean? I don't even, I mean, I don't know how long the game is. I don't even know what's coming. It's a brand new game, so how would I, I can't really answer that, I don't think. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Again with fucking Alpha 3? Jesus, man. No Alpha 3. Stop this. Stop with the Alpha 3 shit. Oh, I should, I, I should seriously use top tiers. I will use top tiers if I'm trying to get the 10 wins. 10 more wins I need. Vega against Balrog is an interesting fight. We'll see how this goes. Wow, it dropped my input completely. Again. Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. He's 
done. Perfect. Well, that's six. <laughs> that's six. Ouchies. Well, he picked hyper fighting, so he's gonna probably run to Guile, because that's what all the people fucking play. Oh, he's gonna pick. Okay. If he's picking Ken, at least it's a fair fight. No, I'll go with Blanca again. Blanca against Ken. This is the guy I played before, I think. Round one, fight! What the fuck? Oh my god, the connection is so bad. I really can't do anything here. Yeah, I can't. I can't react to his moves because I can't jump over fireballs and shit because the lag is so bad. Yeah, the lag is so bad, I'm gonna lose. I can't. I need to be able to react to what he's doing and I can't. It's twitching. You can see it's twitching. That means that the connection is bad. What the fuck? See, I can't even punish the sure you can the connection so bad. Ah, it's done. Wow! Oh. You win. <clears throat> Round three, fight. Well, no move. I can't get my moves out. <laughs> nope, no block of ball. Nope, I did up ball. Yeah, it's garbage. I did up ball, which is a, a pure anti-air. It doesn't come out. He stuffs it as if I was just standing there doing nothing. So, no. I tried. I, I did. A, that was definitely a mismatch. I didn't. I also didn't expect that the connection would be terrible, which it was. It was dropping so many moves. And you see, when he's twitching like that, instead of doing smooth animations, it's twitching. It means that half the connection is not working. It's dropping all the inputs. Yeah, I should have just picked the top tier. I shouldn't have fucked around with Blanca. I should have just went with, like, uh, Ken or fucking... I, I mean, probably not Balrog in that situation. I probably would have beat him with fucking Zangief, too. I probably would have. Oh, well. Like I said, it's almost impossible. It really is impossible to get a win streak in this collection. Because the collection doesn't work. <laughs> the collection is so laggy. That in 9 times out of 10, you're not going to get consistent enough performance you're gonna lose every few matches when the game drops half your inputs or it's twitchy all over the place so yeah and there's i mean it's so hilarious because 15 wins in this collection the way that you can't even play 15 matches in a room i would it would probably take me all night to even get 15 wins straight well back to the drawing board thank you to uh, Little Crow Gaming for the latest Super Chat. Thank you to Jack Fracture. Obviously, this is a very generous tip. We're at $61 in tips tonight so far. Guys, again, if you can please tip me tonight. If you can forego other ways to contribute, I'm trying to raise funds to pay my bills that are coming to over the weekend, and I have no other way to pay them. So please, if you can, please tip me and thank you. Look at this. Oh, my God. Every Dude, every fucking match tonight has been like this. Look at this. Why are the connections so fucking bad tonight? Every match, man. Oh my god. Holy fuck, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. It's unbearable. Unbearable. Derek, I miss those days. He says he misses the HD Remix videos I used to do. The reason that, that I miss those days is because when HD Remix came out, the Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, it was a reinvigoration because Super Turbo had a, had a, 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 a resurgence of, of uh, attention. And of course, Street Fighter in general, because Street Fighter 4 came out around that same time. So all this Street Fighter stuff was going on at once. It was so cool because for almost a decade, Street Fighter was dead. From the year like 2000 all the way through like 2009, Street Fighter was dead. 
No one was playing it. It was only the same people every single year. It was impossible to get any attention for any of it. It was just the same old games because Capcom hadn't made any. And then all of a sudden, within a very short period of time, they released all these games. And I remember playing HD Remix. And it was such a reinvigoration of the scene playing that in Street Fighter 4. It was a really cool time. Now, this is, the, this is the closest I can get to playing the classics. This laggy piece of fuck collection. This is plus a donkey shit right here. It's so bad. No, I never watched G4 or Tech TV. I didn't watch any of those channels. I don't even know if I had them. Jesus Christ. It's still going. I gotta wait longer for this fucking match. Ugh. Marvel Coley says the free Marvel 2 hashtag is a joke. Marvel 2 is massively overrated in my opinion. The hashtag should make a decent Street Fighter Capcom. If you look at all of the versus games, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is the best one, competitively. All of them are competitive, but like X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Street Fighter, um, even Marvel vs. Capcom, they're all very broken games that are unbalanced and really it comes down to only like maybe four characters that are playable in all of those games. Uh, except for X-Men vs. Street Fighter where every character has a broken fucking infinite. Um, but MVC2 is a game that can be played at an incredibly high level, and it was played so long competitively. We're talking, like, 1999 through, like, the release of Marvel 3, right? So that's, what, over, a de like, a decade? So people really took their time finding all kinds of broken strategies, crazy top-tier things that arguably were never intended in the game. They were never intended to be used in the game in a competitive nature at all. It was more... A situation where, uh, you know, the game was never patched, it was never updated, so people had so much time to sit down and mess with it that they figured all this broken shit out over time, you know? It's definitely the best one out of all Marvel vs. games. It is. Just hands down, it is. There's nothing I can do here. It's a complete countermatch. I picked Zengi first, he counterfeits with fucking Honda. I can't do anything. He can headbutt the whole match. He can literally headbutt the whole match. I can't do anything. It beats Honda. It beats uh, Zengi. Zengi has no answer for headbutts. See? He, has no, he can't do anything. He can't trip them. He can't punish them. He can't even stop them. Nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> right! Right in the middle of my combo. Right. Headbutt can't do anything about it. I can't stop it. I can't, I can't do anything. Especially online. Like offline, maybe you have a chance. I can't do anything online. He does it the whole time. I can't. I, li I literally have no answer. Yep, headbutt. <laughs> I can't do anything. Headbutt. He 100% he counterpicked me. He's a little bitch. He saw I pick Zangy. He's like, oh, I'll get a cheap, easy win. And he picked fucking, Z a fucking Honda just headbutts a million times online. Wow, what a great player. Just sucks. All these lobbies tonight suck. They all, they're all laggy shit. Fucking terrible gameplay. No, it's definitely not my 13th anniversary, Derek. I I was making content on YouTube in 2007. That was when I went to uh, Midwest Championships. And I, I filmed at Midwest Championships. Those were my first videos I ever put up on YouTube in 2007. So, absolutely not. This is not my 13th anniversary on YouTube or anything like that. <sighs> Akuma. Great. <laughs> Fucking Akuma. I blocked. 
The game says I didn't. I blocked. Uh. The big booty. Super kick. Look at the damage. What the? That's two hits. Yo, he hit me twice. He hit me twice. You saw my health? <laughs> and T-Hawk has a high health bar, too. Hit me with one Shoryuken. And, and what was it? One, one hurricane kick? And I dizzied. And I had only like 20% health left. And that's why Akuma is not allowed in competitive play in this in this game. Super terrible. I mean, oh my god. Are you kidding me? Two hits. Two fucking hits. These lobbies suck. I don't want to play these guys. All their connections are terrible, man. I don't want to play any of these guys tonight. Every one of them is a terrible connection. Ugh. No, of course this isn't competitive. This is fucking around online. This is not competitive tournament play ranked or anything. No, it's just dicking around. It's just hilarious to see Akuma be used like that. Like, oh my god, gee, I wonder why he was banned. He did one Shoryuken that did 30%. Then he did one Hurricane Kick that hit me twice and did another 30%. And I was dizzy. And that was the game. <laughs> that was the whole game. I'm like, wow. Okay. You can't. Sean J. Thorpe says, create a, lo a lobby, boot the laggy ones. You cannot boot people in this game. But I don't know I don't know how this game has been out for three and a half years. People don't understand this yet. This game is incomplete. This collection was never meant to play like any other fighting game. They put no effort in. Okay, first of all, these aren't even the real games that are being played. There is an emulator in this collection. It's not actually the, the collection doing any work. They, they bought an emulator. I don't know what one it is. It could very well be Kylera. It could be one of these emulators, okay? The emulator is running the ROM in the background. That's why when you're playing it, all of a sudden certain stages run faster than others because it's not truly running the game. It's emulation, okay? That's number one. So that's why you notice, oh, why can't you do stage select? Why can't you do music select? Why can't Because there's nothing is original code. This is the arcade board right now running emulated. They added nothing additional to the game to make it work. They were the laziest shit. The online play is broken as fuck. It skips inputs. It has all these issues. Now, as for what you're saying, if you create a lobby, great. Anyone can join. You can't kick someone from the lobby. There's no way to ban anyone, kick anyone, or do anything like that in the game. They added none of those features to the game. The game is insanely bare bones and barely works. The game's been out for three and a half years. People still don't know this. How the fuck? And the hilarious part about all this is... They want these people who made this this game called Digital Eclipse, they want them to make Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for modern consoles. Like, are you out of your fucking mind? I don't want them to ever make a game again. I wish they disbanded. Seriously, I wish the company went out of fucking business. They suck ass. It's like the minimum fucking effort possible, but they're the only ones who put together these, like, these retro collections, so they get all this fucking work and all this money for minimum efforts. It's terrible. It's absolutely fucking terrible they get anywhere. Oh my god, people are so dumb. Why do you, why do people come and ask me the same fucking dumb questions every week? Why do you play it every week then? I answer this every week because when I was growing up, these games were very nostalgic to me. This is what I went every weekend. I played in an arcade, okay? Every weekend I went, I played these games Friday night, Saturday night, played them in arcades for several hours. This gives me a feeling of nostalgia back to my childhood. It makes me feel like I'm in arcades again, having fun with old school games. These are absolutely my favorite games of all of the... Street Fighter games, the old ones are my favorite. This is the only way I can play them right now. It's really is the only way I can experience them. So it's this or don't play them at all. I'll take the bad experience versus the non-existent experience, okay? Now, how many more times will you ask me the same fucking question every week? Every fucking week, this fucking same question. Here we go. The no effort gameplay, no effort. No effort guile. You notice every single person picks Guy on Hyper Fighting, right? They're all scrubs. None of them actually know the game. All they do is pick the fucking no effort character. I 
I didn't do that. I didn't do I got a fireball. That was sure you get it. Nothing came out get jabs. Jesus Christ. God, yo, he's the scrubbiest fucking player. I can't do anything about it because of the fucking game. You saw that, right? <laughs> it skipped a bunch of frames of animation. I didn't even walk forward and jump. And as soon as I went to jump, he was already in the air kicking me. It skipped the whole frame. I wouldn't even be surprised he didn't mean to do that if he wanted to do a flash kick and it gave him that instead. This is unbelievable. It's fucking un... Uh, really, it's just unplayable this week. Every match is laggy, and then I'm playing the biggest fucking, fucking lag-abusing scrubs. The guy sucks shit. You're a terrible player. You sit there with Guile. I can do that too. I can sit still with Guile and throw Sonic moves the whole match. I can do it, really. It's not fun. It's, that's why this game is not competitive. Hyper fighting, it's not. People don't really, you know, that's why they wanted better versions. Because they wanted, people, uh, the original two Street Fighter games were complaining that the speed was too slow. Make it faster. So then they gave them hyper fighting, but then they broke the game by making Guile so fucking broken. So everyone was like, damn, can you change it now so fucking Guile isn't broken? So then they made Super Street Fighter 2, but then it was slow again. They slowed down the speed again. <laughs> So everyone was like, can you make it so the game's not broken, but also runs fast? And that's what they made Super Turbo. It took them five games to basically get it right. Yeah, but Hyper Fighting is not competitive at all. It's really just Guile. Guile is way the fuck up here, easy mode gameplay. And then other characters are viable, but they're so ridiculously hard to play, and none of them can beat Guile. None of them. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, man. Alright, fuck this. I'm not, what am I gonna wait for this for? Why am I waiting in this lobby? Seriously. For the slow-mo. Why waiting for the slow-mo gameplay? What a fucking joke. Oh my god. No, I never played Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. That was one that came out before all of the popular, like, uh, rebirth games. Like, like, uh, Hyper Fire, not Hyper Fighting, excuse me. HD Remix and Street Fighter 4. It, like, came out right before those. In fact, I bought a couple Tatsunoko vs. Capcom joysticks and then put new artwork over them uh, to sell on console. Because they were the only ones that would work with, like, Nintendo consoles, like the Wii. But, no, nah, I never played it. No one, really, honestly, almost no one did. Almost no one played those games. Uh, they were pretty much failures, and even competitive community didn't care about them. <clears throat> See you later, Kagome. Oh my god. Oh my god, I whiffed. Oh. Shooter McGavin, thanks for the super chat. I don't give two fucks about Review Tech USA. No one does. So I don't know why you would even mention it on my stream. No one gives two fucks about that fucking guy. He's a fucking grade A loser at this point. Seriously, like, the way that he fucking conducts himself and shit. The fact that he, he pretends like he wants to be on his show. Just to cause drama and shit. Yeah, I don't I don't give two fucks about him. I don't want to talk about him, so don't bring him up on my stream. Okay. <clears throat> Nobody cares. Ugh. 
Can I play Rainbow Edition? I mean, it would have to be emulated. Hey, Rainbow Edition was never sold except for bootleg boards. It's a hack. It's not an official game board. So, it would have to be emulated somewhere. Oh, Derek, I don't know what those teams are besides Team of Rochi. I don't know what the other teams are. So. What's Rainbow Edition? So, Rainbow Edition is they took a version of, of Street Fighter 2, and I forget if it's original World Warrior or if it was uh, Champion Edition. I think it was Champion Edition. And what they did is they, they reverse engineered and hacked it. So what they did is they, they basically put it into a computer and they fucked the game's mechanics up completely badly. And they made it so that you could jump, 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 jump super high. You actually come out of the, the, the fucking floor if you jump enough. You could do moves in the air you're not supposed to be able to do. Like you could jump and do flaming torpedo in the air with bison and shit like that. Um, you could do fireballs in the air. You could do multiple like three, four, five fireballs on the screen at once. It's basically a hack broken version of original Street Fighter 2. And at the time, what happened is these people started contacting arcade owners and saying, hey, if you actually buy this, this will attract more people because it's more interesting than the real Street Fighter. So they were selling it for cheaper than the real Street Fighter because it was hacked and bootleg. But it was actually attracting crowds. People were like, what the fuck? How can you throw those many fireballs and shot on the screen at once? The thing was, it wasn't serious. It could never be played competitively because it was a joke. It was completely broken and unbalanced. There was no balance to it at all. So it was just like a fuck around thing. And they never officially sold it anywhere except in arcades because they couldn't sell a home version of it because no one had the rights to that. Capcom didn't condone it or anything. Do nothing. <laughs> you can't. The air fireball breaks the game. You can't do anything about it. Yeah, I can't do anything right now. Didn't do that. Didn't do that either. Yep. The hurricane is invincible, too. His hurricane kick is completely invincible. You can only hit it, I think, when he's landing. He has a frame where you can hit it. But outside of that, the hurricane kick is completely invincible. The air fireball can't be stopped. You can barely... You can Actually, there's certain characters cannot duck the air fireball because they're too tall. Like Zangief can't even duck the air fireball. He just has to fucking stand there and kind of block it, which means he can never advance. He can never even move forward to a, a, a Kuma that just jumps with his air fireball. Zangief can't even do anything to him. It's that broken. <clears throat> See you later, Jade. Have a good night. Yeah, he's, he's completely unfair. He's real broken. Really, I mean, it's fun that he's a, a silly secret character in the game, but man, is he completely unbalanced compared to everyone else. He's a character you don't have to time anything. You can just throw out random moves, and his his properties are so good. If it even hits or trades, you just have such an advantage. You throw out random hurricane. If you stuff it, big deal. He lands and he's safe. If you if you happen to hit, it juggles, causes massive stun. He can even combo into itself or to ensure you can. It's like Jesus, man. Like talk about a safe mode character. I'm really the only you can punish that. Now I'm thinking about it. Oh, by the way, also, he cannot be dizzied. If you dizzy Akuma, he immediately re recovers from the dizzy. I can hit you. Oh, excuse me. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, now he's gonna recover. 
Oh, he could he did recover. It said recovery, but he didn't do anything, so she got a free throw. If he had done a Shoryuken there, she would have got Shoryuken in the face when she tried to throw him. Throw him. Dick Lightning to do $10 to Street Fighter 6 as a new fighter ready to strike down the opposition. The master Dick Lightning himself. Go Dick Lightning. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dick Lightning, for a $10 tip. I appreciate that. And blog comments to the Super Chase is the best Gordon Ramsay episode of Nino or Amy Baker, Amy's Bakery. I didn't like the Amy's Bakery episode. That woman is fucking obnoxiously annoying. Like, there's nothing funny about that episode. It's just like, can you show me the most dis disgusting, annoying person possible? That's her. Like, I, I can't believe you even want to fucking deal a second with her. <laughs> you know? Um, I don't remember Nino's. There were a lot of good episodes of Kitchen Nightmares. The be My favorite episode of Kitchen Nightmares is when he's talking to supposedly the head chef of the place, right? The head chef! And he'll ask him, is your food fresh or is it frozen? And we go, oh, it's fresh. And he goes into the fridge, everything's frozen. He says, you said all your ingredients were fresh. Go, oh, yeah, fresh, fresh frozen. Fresh frozen. <laughs> oh, fresh frozen. Oh, okay, gotcha. <clears throat> <laughs> Freshly, fresh frozen. That's like saying, yeah, it's, it's very white, very black white, a nice dark white. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I was very positively negative. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Uh, who use? Until we get the hat, which we are close to, we're seventy-one dollars. I'm not picking bison. Not till we get the hat. I'll do Dalsy. We hit a hundred dollars bison hat and bison marathon. He kicked my. He kicked my hand. Oh my god. I didn't do that. Obviously, I did the drill, but the game dropped the input. It didn't give me the down input, so I just got the kick. Great. Damn! Burn to death. What the fuck? Yes, it attacks the wrong direction, it still hits me. I didn't do that. I didn't do Yoga Flame at all. Why would I have done Yoga Flame from that distance? It wouldn't hit anyway. Whatever. Yeah, the game the game is seriously, like, nearly unplayable tonight. Every match I'm playing is laggy, and I can't get the inputs I want. And it just makes it fucking super annoying, man. It really is just a fucking pain in my ass.